Welcome everyone to uh, one of the four um, sessions of outstanding papers. Uh, the uh, winning papers will be selected uh, from this and one more afternoon parallel session of the outstanding and it will be announced in the closing session. Uh, so we have uh, three uh, long, uh, two long and four short papers. Uh, the first paper is Visualizing and Understanding Neural Machine Translation will be presented by Yang Chu Ding. Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Yang Chu Ding from Tsinghua University. I'm glad to have the opportunity to present our work on um, Visualizing and Understanding Neural Machine Translation. This is a joint work with Yang Liu, Huan Bo Ran, and Mao Song Sun. Mm. Recent years have witnessed uh, the rap rapid development of neural machine translation, which uses neural networks to directly map between natural languages. The standard architecture for MT is the intention-based encoder-decoder framework. Given a source sentence, the model first maps source words to source word embeddings. Then, a forward recurrent network is used, is used to generate source forward hidden states. Similarly, a backward RN can be used to generate source backward hidden states. They can be concatenated to form source hidden states that capture global context. The model dynamically generates source context for, uh, for each target word by using attention mechanism. Another RN called decoder is used to generate target hidden, hidden states and words. The translation is generated word by word from left to right. Despite uh, better success, MT faces a severe cha challenge. It is hard to visualize and understand the internet, internal workings of neural networks. All internal information is represented as real valid vectors or metrics. It is difficult, difficult to associate hidden states in neural networks with interpretable language structures. As a result, the la lack of interpretability leads lead, lead to difficulty in understanding translation process and uh, debugging MT systems. In fact, this is also a challenge for other deep learning-based NLP tasks. As a result, Visualizing and understanding neural networks is an important direction. The most widely used visualization tool is the attention weight matrix. But it is restricted, restricted to the connection between words in source and target languages. Another important work is the first derivative sentence proposed by Li and others 2016. And they use derivatives to measure the importance of neurons. However, their approach requires neural activations to be differentiable. Our work is inspired by the layer-wise relevance propagation proposed, proposed by Batch and others 2015 for the image classification task. The basic idea is to decompose the classification design as the sum of relevance for all pixels. Therefore, it is possible to know the contribution of each pixel to the final design and why the image is identified as a cat in this figure. Uh, the major advantage of IRP is that it is capable of calculating the relevance between two arbitrary neurons without uh, requiring differentiability. Our work adapts LRP into neural machine translation. In the following, I will show how our approach works, given a thought sentence. I will first get the thought word embeddings like a standard NMT. Then, the MT model, the, the, the MT model generates the forward hidden state of the first thought word. Also, in, princi in principle, LRP can calculate the relevance between any to nodes in a network. In this work, we are only interested in the relationship between hidden states and uh, input and output words. For example, in this case, 
the forward hidden state of the first source world is of our interest, interest which is called a targeted vector of neurons highlighted in red. The word embedding of the first source world is called a contextual vector of neurons. There are also intermediate and uh, irrelevant vectors. We use a real valued number to denote re relevance. Now, consider the second hidden state. It, ha it has two contextual nodes and uh, one immediate node. It's clear that the second source world contributes more to the targeted one, to, ta to the targeted node. Similarly, we can move on and calculate relevance for other hidden states. Note that our approach does not need uh, to change the architecture of MT. Then, RP calculates re relevance for back backward hidden state in a similar way. Note that the contextual and the intermediate node are changing for each targeted node. Now, for source hidden states. From the values of relevance, it is clear to know how con con contextual words contribute to the generation of hidden states. Now, it comes to the decoder. Calculating the source context for the first target word involves all neurons in the encoder. The first target hidden state as the first target word. Now, for the second so source context, note that the hidden state of the first target word uh, participates in the calculation of attention. attention. Uh, for the hidden state of the second target word, the first target word I is also identified as a contextual node. Therefore, it is possible to investigate how source and target context influence the generation of target words. So, in this way, our approach is able to offer more insights on how MT works in the black box. Unlike image classification, the basic unit of NMT is a word, word vector rather than a pixel, but neuron is the basic unit on LR, of LRP. Therefore, we distinguish between vector and neural level relevance. To calculate neural level relevance, the basic idea is to decompose the activation of the targeted, targeted neuron among contextual neurons. Consider this simple network. V1 is the targeted neuron. U1, U2, and U3 are the contextual neurons. LRP requires that V1 should be the sum of relevance between V1 and uh, its contextual neurons. Uh, we calculate neural level relevance by recursive calculation in a backward application. As shown in this equation, the relevance between V and U is a weighted sum of the relevance between V and U's direct descendants in the direct directed glass. Here, we give two examples. Calculating the relevance between U1 and V1 requires the relevance between Z1 and V1 to be calculated first. Therefore, neural level relevance is calculated recursively in a backward application. Uh, the weight ratios are calculated recursively in a forward application. Uh, this equation suggests that neurons with higher values of activations are assigned with higher weight ratios. We give an example for calculating the weight ratio, weight ratio between U1 and Z1. Hmm. After calculating neural level relevance, it is easy to sum them up to obtain vector level relevance. Hmm. This is the algorithm of layer-wise layer -wise propagation for neural machine translation. First, specify targeted vector of neurons. Then calculate weight ratios in a forward application. Finally, calculate relevance in a backward application. Our approach can be used to debug attention-based MT systems. In our paper, we analyzed the four major translation error, error types by visualizing relevance step by step, automation, or repetition. Mm. 
generating unrelated words and uh, negation relation. We find that although attention is very useful for understanding the connection between source and target words, only using attention is not uh, sufficient for deep interpretation of target word generation. Uh, due, to, due to the time limit, uh, we only show one example for word omission, given an, a Chinese sentence. The reference translation is President Wen's vote in Senate and House. The system output is President Wen's vote in Senate. The error is that the translation of the fourth source word, which corresponds to House, is omitted by the system. This error type is frequently observed in MT translations. We can use LRP to find out why the translation is truncated. The error occurs when the decoder generating the word following Senate. So we use LRP to calculate the relevance for source context, hidden state, and word embedding. For the source context, which heavily depends on attention, we find that the fourth source word corresponding to house is most relevant. Therefore, the calculation of attention is correct. However, the relevance for the hidden state changes significantly with the source hide and note sentence token achieving the highest relevance. This is, this is because besides the source context, both the previous target hidden state and the previous target word involves in the generation of the current hidden state without appropriate control over the three sources. The model chooses the end of sentence token to take the lead in a wrong way. Therefore, the model predicts that the next word is target side and target side end of sentence token and terminates the decoding process too early. Therefore, we find that Target side context also plays a critical role in determining the next target word being generated. It is important to control both source and target context to produce correct translations. Generating the end of sentence token too early might lead to many problems, such as word omission, unreleased word generation, and uh, truncated translation. Similarly, our approach can be used to analyze either translation errors. We released an open source toolkit which includes all source code and an GUI for attention-based encoder-decoder framework. It is free, free available at tmt.t2mp.org. To conclude, visualization, visualizing and interpreting neural network is an important direction, not only for neural machine translation, but also for neural networks in other NLP tasks. Our work shows that it is possible to use layer-wise relevance propagation to quantitate the relationship between two, any two neurons in a network without requiring differentiability. We think this approach will be benefit the understanding of other deep learning based method in the LP community. Thanks. Thank you. We have a few minutes for questions. Uh, if you can use the microphone. I, I can't get your meaning. Can you repeat it? Um, can you compare this to other approaches for computing feature improvements? Um, one approach that I know about is called axiomatic attributions. What?
Oh, okay. I, uh, in fact, uh, our approach, uh, um, our approach uh, uh, doesn't need to change the architecture or MT. We, uh, the in, the in, uh, we get the, the matrix value or uh, matrix or the value of matrix or vector uh, after the translation, and uh, we will we will calculate the relevance uh, by this by this vector. So so uh, uh, in the so the uh, so we will get the vector get the value of, of matrix after beam search. Yes. Uh, 